Hello everybody, welcome back to another video today. Today is episode 2 of the 100 days, day 16 to 30. Do hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, share the video and I'd really appreciate that. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. I'll lead my pre-recorded self to fill you in. Bye! Starting off, we're back in the world for day 16. So I woke up and crafted a bit of bone meal so I could get myself some acacia trees. This took a lot longer than I wanted it to. So then I decided to cut them down because I needed the acacia wood and start to bone meal some of the glowberries so I could get a good amount of glowberries. So hopefully they could grow a bit bigger later on. I then started on a new project which involved acacia wood. This project will be revealed later on down the road as I terraformed a little bit and made sure all the logs were the same size. I then ran out of logs, so I had to go and get more logs and place them down to make the structure and then went to bed to finish day 16. Day 17, I mined some more acacia trees. What, what a surprise. This was a continuous theme for my builds, especially because I'm living in a sandy area, acacia and sand. I then continued to apply some more wood because I did forget some more again. That finished structure and I decided to make some stairs and add them to the front of the build to give it a nice style. Continuously making mistakes and designing the build as I went through with it. And in the end, I think the base looked good. I then added an oak door, which very was confusing because oak doesn't suit the build. And then lined the floor with ter terracotta. And then adding a white strip down the middle before realising I have run out of terracotta. So I changed all the white bits on the edges, which was the new, to orange to have more white. And then added some chests to the orange patches. And this is when people probably would be able to start guessing what this roof is going to be for. As I misplaced a chest very awkwardly, tw twice. Misplaced two chests. Tell you what, I'm not doing very good today, am I? <laughs> So I placed these back on the orange thing and this is going to be a new storage room. So I went down to a little underground burrow kind of area and started to mine some sandstone. So I'm going to use that as a main structural feature. And I also went to bed. Day 18 glitched. Day 19 I woke up and started on the farm to make sure I got some new wheat going. And as of day 18 that glitched so I do not have recording for it. I only have a little bit. In day 18 though, I did enchant all my tools with an enchantment table, so it's actually quite a big one. I then added the sandstone to the walls of the storage base and went and explored out outwards in the area. I found a new village and pillaged it before falling asleep on the sand. Day 20. My footage corrupted, so I had to re-film it. Day 21. We mined some gold, which was re really fun. Yeah, eight pieces of gold right there. Let's go, gold. And then we got some diamonds as well. We've got eight diamonds here. And I was fumbling around trying to get the diamonds into my inventory. Which you can see, I, I, I failed quite badly. I, I failed really badly until I realised the diamonds wasn't there. They were actually un underneath me. So I went down, did the inventory thing again and grabbed the diamonds. So that's eight diamonds adding to my loot. Which was brilliant for me since I didn't have that many diamonds. So I mined them all away. And then I went back up to the surface and got attacked by a spider. Sorry. And then I jumped into the bed. Day 22. I woke up in the area and got attacked by fallen sand. And a husk. Maybe it was a husk. Does a husk have elemental powers? I do not know. I then decided to run across the land to try and find some new areas. I came across the badlands, ran over here to a birch forest, before finding an amethyst geode. I mined a lot of amethyst, I, I will tell you that. I was very happy. I then got up and got some birch wood, since I know I do not have much of that around my area. So I knew this could be a very good wood for me to have for builds. I then went to sleep after mining some wood. Day 24, 23 or 24, I think it's 24. I got some sea pickles because a wandering trader asked me to. No, it's definitely tw day 23. Day 23! Wandering trader, sea pickles, woohoo! I was debating between the dripstone and the sea pickles, but I got the sea pickles since I had dripstone already. So I ran back to the village after that because I thought I need to go and, you know, get all my stuff done. 
And then I decided, no, I didn't want to do that. I made myself a shovel and grabbed some grass for a new project. So I started terraforming the land to make it look quite natural as well, which I think I did quite a good job there, especially because I don't naturally do terraforming because that's just something I don't particularly enjoy doing. And then I went to bed to end day 23. Now, this is day 24, and I started off by placing some chests in the chest room because we're getting a big supply here. And trust me, this chest room isn't that big that I've made it. It actually gets extended later on in the series because I am like a couple of episodes ahead nearly. So I decided to make some sandstone, some chill sandstone to add to my build because that's why I wanted to make it look on the outside. And I decided to add some item frames so I can start. Um, getting all my stuff in the chests and start organising them into correct patterns or not patterns really but like correct items like stones in one, woods in other. I then crafted an anvil because I knew I wanted to get some enchantment books and try and make some names of stuff and then I decided to add loads of stuff to the chests to give them like a topic kind of thing. I went to my tree farm which I did not show me making because it took too long. No, it, it was just boring and mine's on the birch ridge which I have planted and then I went to bed to end day 24. Day 25 started with me making bread, like usual. And then I went to my anvil and crafted two iron shovels together to create a brand new one. I picked up a dead rabbit and yeah, that was sad. And I went to bed, I didn't really do much. Day 26, you see the start of the extension project to extend my storage room so I knew it was too small. Um, I then went and grabbed some more wood and messed up the start of the design. So I had to go and grab some more acacia wood because I knew I would need a lot more to make this craft. I then went to my tree farm and planted a few more acacia saplings. So I have a constant supply of acacia next to me. I then managed to finish the design and mine out all the sandstone I'd used beneath it. I then placed some acacia fences underneath it to make it look very rustic in my opinion and make it look good. For me, building's not an expertise, so even making like a genuinely nice looking house or room makes me feel like good about it. And then I went to bed, obviously. Day 27, I killed a creeper because that's all I know how to do and I can't kill with a skeleton. You'll find out later down the episodes. I then decided to plant my farm because I needed some more wheat because I get hungry very quickly apparently on this game. And you know, hey ho. And then stood AFK for like a minute and a half. I then travelled to the Badlands because I needed some more terracotta and some red sand. And after that, I have a quick montage of like four minutes of footage of just terracotta. I got some red as well. I then saw the sun was going down after getting a little bit more red and decided I need to sleep. So I slept to end day 27. Day 28, I started off by waking up, obviously, and mine some more terracotta. I then braced myself for an amazing water bucket clutch, and look at that, I am absolutely amazing. I then walked along the Badlands and found a ruined portal, grabbed the block of gold, and remember there was a chest, looked in the chest to see there really wasn't much, but I decided to grab the enchanted boot and the iron nuggets and also the piece of obsidian because I thought that could be useful and then wandered back home found another room portal grabbed another two more bits of gold so never travel maybe and decided to loot the chest once again so there was a few things I could use like more iron nuggets and a flint steel and I also grabbed grabbed the pickaxe but I didn't grab the obsidian. I managed to find my way back home though before the day ended and ran my green bed in my hand showing it off to all the villagers because you know I have to show the villagers I am the most powerful person. I then searched for a bundle in the crafting table and the bundles doesn't seem to be in this version so then I decided I'm done with that I went to sleep to end day 28. Day 29 I was going a little bit crazy so I ended up having a conversation with a villager for a couple of minutes and wow that entertaining i guess i then tried to ring the bell and missed the bell multiple times and then managed to work out how to swing the bell and ate some bread which then led me to run out of bread so i decided to then make more bread so then i got more bread in my inventory so i have more bread now which is brilliant i have bread brilliant bread bread brilliant brilliant bread terracotta y yeah that's all you need to know Carrots! Yeah, 
I, I got a bit addicted to carrots. This farm was stealing them all, so I just mine more carrots. I got too many carrots now. I then decided to wake the villager and go to bed because that's day 29. So I decided to sleep. The villager got a bit annoyed at me, but... Day 30. I started by creating some bone meal and carrots. We love carrots. Carrots. More carrots. We've got a damn lot of carrots in this series now. A lot of carrots. <laughs> and then I decided to trade the carrots in to get some emerald from the villager because I had a goal. So I got this lot farm up to level two and then decided to go to the librarian and trade the fortune one book to lock that in place. So that librarian will stay librarian. I then added that to my pickaxe and decided to, you know, name it mining away. And now I am so original, aren't I? <laughs> I then decided to trade some wheat in with a farmer to get some more emeralds. And yeah, that basically ended the day. So I sat there. Watching the sunset, which ended the final day of the series. Which is now where I'm going to use this as a little bit of an outro. So thank you guys for watching this episode of The 100 Days, I'm guessing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you don't mind, please do like, subscribe. And we got to kill a cat now. Rest in peace. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to leave you with me putting my head down to rest at the end of day 30. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.